All right, so who goes first? Knight? Um, because he was A? I guess you could do a die roller for it. it well, I guess, um, I guess to initially we all do our birdsong stuff, right? No. One person goes, they do everything from birdsong to evening, and then the next ah, person goes. I see. Um, so I guess let me grab a... Who goes first die? Is me. Hey, perfect. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> okay, I see. Um. You have a really easy setup. Put your board back over. <laughs> um, I'm going to use... Uh... Oh, right. So one thing is, every card is one of four suits. And the suits are the same as the clearings. Bunny, mouse, and fox. And then there's also a blue bird suit that for most players, bird is wild. So like if it's like, expend something expend a card to do whatever in this type of clearing you have to expend like a fox for a fox clearing or a mouse for a mouse clearing a bird will work for any clearing um for okay. most factions for the lizards it's the opposite the lizards hate birds so birds basically have no use for them um anyway point is uh i'm gonna discard this out of my supporters to place a sympathy token here uh, round tokens do not take building slots. They just go in the clearing wherever. Um, a sympathy token means that if anybody moves a warrior into the clearing or attacks the sympathy token, it causes outrage and they have to give me a card that matches that clearing. Oh, they don't have to give it to me. They have to put it into my supporters thing. If they can't, they show me their hand, and then I draw a card and put it in my supporters thing. Um. I like that. Craft using sympathy. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just like your crafting building. My sympathy are my crafting buildings. Um, Revolt! <laughs> oh, so I see where your sympathy tokens are. You can craft from that spot. Yes. So, like, when you look at a card in your hand, it'll have... Um, actually, the card I discarded will work. So, this it's a fox card, but you can see on the top right, it's got a single bunny. And on the bottom left, it also has that single bunny. That means you would have to have a one of your crafting buildings or whatever lets you craft in a bunny t uh, clearing to be able to craft that card. Um... Some of them have multiple, like you might have two bunnies, or you might have a bunny and a fox, or whatever, and that means you have to have those things to be able to craft. Uh, for Pain... Um, Get a hammer. He needs one hammer per token, and he has to be in that clearing. So if he was trying to craft this one that's just one bunny, he could craft it with one hammer in a, any bunny clearing. Um, Alright, so then I'm going to discard... Um, where's my draw? Oh, right. Okay. Um, sorry, it's been a little while since I've played. Yeah. Uh, I am going to discard a fox, or th this fox and this bunny, or er, mouse, into my supporters. Um... Anime Hero, how much do you know about this game? Uh, Not as much as I should. Because <laughs> I want to discard another card. Yes. I'm, I'm just going to do it. I want to discard this into my supporters too, but it's a dominant card. dominance card. Yeah. I can still do that, right? It's just once I spend it out of the supporters, then it would go into the discarded dominance. Right? I believe so. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
So dominance cards change the way you win the game, and because of that, when they get discarded, they go to the special discarded dominance card thing, and at any time, another player can... Uh, like, you could take a bunny out of your hand to put it in the discard and take this and put it into your hand if you wanted to do that. But it's not discarded yet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> anyway, so that mm -hmm. is going to be... I still draw one card, and then that'll be my turn. Shoop. Shoop. Da -da -da. Let's see. Is it my turn? Uh, or is it how are we going? Animates. Clockwise or counterclockwise? <laughs> That's, that's it doesn't the matter. I'm also... I'm third either way. We... <laughs> you can go we night if you want. First, we know who's third. I was gonna say you can go night if you Rock, want. Rock paper scissors for it. <laughs> uh, all right. So, what do the rules say? I mean, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I Let's see. Mm -hmm. play. Uh, give the walkthrough sheet. Keep the factions in a clockwise order. Marquis, then Irie, then Alliance, then Vagabond. Whoopsie. So I guess Marquis should have gone first. Oh. Now, I know when you play draft play, uh, turn order is random. Huh. But apparently, according to the base game rules that only has four it, factions, it starts with... Well, Marquee. this is the... This is also learning to play. So it's like a guided setup. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, probably clockwise then. So when you do drafted play, everybody draws a card to determine turn order. So you'll draw one, two, three, or four. Oh. And then you're supposed to sit in that order. So you're clockwise in that order. Oh, that's fun. Hmm. <laughs> so, anime. Okay. Oh, jeez. And now then... I... And in drafted play, after you draw your clans, you do board setup in reverse order. So, like, whoever's the fourth player does their setup phase first. And around to first player does their setup phase last, but then takes the first turn. Yeah. Trying to make sure I understand what I'm doing here. <laughs> it's been so long. Uh... Yeah, I might need a little bit of help just to make sure I understand exactly what I can do. Alright. Surrender. Yeah. Yeah, so. Because, <laughs> like, this is a new class that I'm trying to make sure I understand, too. A lot of text. At each mob, remove all enemy buildings and tokens that well, that's shouldn't yes. be any. Recruit, recruit yeah. warriors equal to prowess. Which would be one base. We have one. Anoint Warlord if it's off the map, which it's no. not, right? Nope. Oh, he's still got one. So if you kill his Warlord, he just gets to turn one of his dudes into a Warlord. He always has a Warlord. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then there's the... Okay. Oh, right. You have a you have to roll for your mob. That's what this die is for. Yeah. That's, a, that's what I'm trying to understand exactly, like... You could everything that I need to do here. If I do. This mob in a matching clearing with no mob but adjacent to a mob. Oh wait, place place a mob in that clearing. Yeah, he's got the mobs. Yeah, I got five. Total. So... Gosh. <laughs> Extremely so you don't have any mobs so you're not going to resolve any mobs yeah, but you yeah. can probably still roll the mob die to place one yeah that's what I'm thinking yeah that's what I think so do that yeah so uh It'll so be your first bird song action yeah so I roll it <laughs> red so I did I did pull this out for you it's called the mob lobber and you can click it, and it'll randomly pick one of those. Oh, well, that's a lot easier. 
<laughs> the mob lover. <laughs> Wait, why is it called the mob lover? I did roll fox. Because it mobs No, yeah, it's fine. You can, use, <laughs> you can use the fox now and then we'll use that later. Yeah, I'll but, use that. That's awesome. So then you've got you got to place a mob in a fox clearing adjacent to a mob, but since you don't have any mobs yet, I think you could probably pick any fox clearing. Any fox clearing. Okay. Cool. I would imagine so for your first one. Yeah. Um, pick the one right next to Knight's you house. Can't place, <laughs> nobody can place any tokens, buildings, or anything in the clearing that has the key. Okay. Except, except for the cats, obviously. Of course. And uh, me. Hello. Well, up. moving into it isn't placing something into it. You can definitely move into it. I can go. Uh oh. How do I rotate? It's circular, so what? it doesn't go on a pin. Uh, it just goes in I forgot itself. about this. <laughs> okay. So I'm up here. I'm up here in that fox. I thing. see okay. all. I so am the lord right? of the forest. Into okay. your warlord's clearing, so you get one more warrior in your warlord's clearing. Okay, awesome. Sweet. So I'm and up then to anoint. You don't have to do, and then you yeah. can choose a mood, which right now you don't have any items in your horde, so you can choose any mood. Oh, cool, awesome. Well, let me look over the moods again because I was like, because <laughs> I was like, I don't know. No, I get you. It's just every time you add an item to your horde, it that the the mood that goes with that item is removed from your available moods. Yeah, because I see the crossbow and all that. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see that. Okay, I see why you'd have want some of these. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, no, I don't like this. Oh, nice. Okay. Yep. So then daylight, craft, if you want to. You have one stronghold, and it's in a... Mm, Bunny clearing. Mm, okay. It's in a bunny clearing? Yeah. Uh, craft. Uh. Hmm. Do, uh, is it, and I may, I don't have to. Oh, you don't. Case. I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I don't think I'm going to in this case. All right, now because of your mood, you're going to swap the next two steps, so you're going to advance your warlord. Advance my warlord, yes. A number of times up to prowess. You may move your warlord with yeah. any hundreds warriors, then you may battle in your warlord's clearing. Yeah, so in that this case, I can move him over here. Oh, by the way, when you make a move in this game, one or, except for deep paint up again, um, yes. one move is considered pick a clearing, pick an adjacent clearing, and then move any number of warriors along that path. That's one move. So, so yeah, so you're this. Move all of them, holy shit. <laughs> if I wanted to. Yeah, uh, I'll probably keep a couple back here. That said, when you roll the combat dice, the highest number you can roll is three, and you if you have less than three uh, warriors in the clearing, you can't deal three hits. Oh, um, okay. So like, if you move those four guys over and you attack right now, if you yep. were to roll double threes, so both sides got a three, you would deal three hits. He would deal one hit because he only has one warrior in the clearing. Okay, gotcha. But but so, and so when you go to move, it's a good idea to keep in mind that three is the most hits you can deal. So having three dudes in a clearing is the strongest army, unless they start getting picked off. My question is, in this case, uh, for my warlord's case, he does not count to, to this dice roll, or does he? He does. And he does. Yeah, I was gonna say because he should. Uh, oh, he does. So then I'm gonna actually keep it three. Then three and three. Because mm -hmm. the warlord is pretty strong. Okay, cool. And then I fight in that clearing, right? Yeah, and then you can. You don't have to, but you may fight in the clearing. Oh, um, of course I am. Okay, so then uh, you're I'm sorry. Both. I'm going to ambush first. All right, so he's ambushing. At the start of battle, defender may deal two immediate hits, then discard. Cancel Ooh. if attacker plays a, a matching ambush. But he played a... Uh, actually... I don't think the matching thing necessarily matters. So the, the thing is, it has to match the clearing. So you can't play a fox or a bunny... Uh, ambush to counter this, but but because it's a mouse clearing, you could play a mouse or a bird ambush to counter it. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm got nothing. A bird? Right, helicopter, okay. helicopter. So you killed two here. of my guys. No. <laughs> and then you roll your dice. Whoa. Okay. okay. So roll so both, both the dice. You get the higher one, he gets the lower one. And you got one, one and one. one. So one both of them die. 
Both of them die. <laughs> Vacation home. Oh, <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> well, I do without my lower lord. Oh, wait. All right. Then you go into your command the hundred step. Yes. Uh, so you have one command so you can either move, battle, or build. Um... And you can't build on that tile because its only building spot is already used up. And you can't battle because you don't have anybody to fight in this tile. So all you can do is move or not take an action. I'll move one guy over here. All right. And then you move on to your evening step. Yep. And my evening steps are... Right, any number of times. Spend a card to place a mob in a matching clearing with a hundred warrior. Including your warlord, but no mob. Okay. So you could spend a mouse or bunny card to put a mob in one of those two tiles. Um. Mm. Aw, man. Yeah, I'll spend... I can spend a card. Uh, wait, okay, let me just double check here in this case. I found out that I couldn't look underneath the table to see what cards anime had. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really funny. That is really good. I was like, oh, wait, I can see art. Can I read? No. <laughs> it's just the side we all see. <laughs> yeah. Well, because the cards in hand are face up. It just... Yeah. Um, when you make a... Uh deck for tabletop simulator you can place a this is the hidden face upside thing so you could just put a little question mark or but if you don't it just defaults to showing the back of the cards as the hidden face upside mm -hmm. i was gonna say is it does it does it benefit I, me to do either of those I was gonna I say, don't, hang on let me it doesn't sound like it does because it just says like it, it, i don't really understand what the point of the mobs is i mean the raise step is cool, but there's nothing in those clearings for you to raise, so I don't know. Yeah. I see. I can see now what I needed to do in the initial raise when I did it uh, is probably go down. I, I'm not changing, but I, I was probably going down here so I could ruin. That's probably what I should have done, and that's no, what I, I mean. But you can you can spread from there. It, it's going to spread on its own every turn. You don't that's have the to place them yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Oh, by the way, these tokens can also be attacked. So, like, on Knight's turn, he can get rid of this mob, or he can get rid of my sympathy, or whatever. Yeah. But exactly. he can't and get rid of me. As... Also, buildings and tokens don't count as warriors. Breaking them doesn't, like, they can't fight back. And if you attack something that, like, if, if Knight were to attack this to sympathy token, he still does the roll, but... He gets the higher, or he, er, but he gets to add one to his result because it's undefended. So regardless, he's gonna break it. Yeah. Also, okay, everybody. So like, gets, so yes. like for this mob that's down here, if I wanted to get rid of this mob, I could just attack that mob. And you're it's you're still gone. supposed to roll, but because he has no warriors in the clearing, he can't get any hits on you. And regardless of what you roll, you get plus one because it's undefended. So yes, you would break it. But the rule, the way that works is like if this warrior wasn't here and he had a mouse here and he attacked, he would have to roll. And if he rolled a zero, he'd get plus one because it's undefended, but he could only break one of the three things because he only got one, you know? So. Okay. Um, okay. Uh... That, that, uh, the square tokens that are buildings, not the circular tokens that are tokens. Uh, every time you break one, you get a victory point. Oh, so, okay. I'm just thinking that I probably want to keep mobs out of the way because yeah, mobs are bad. They cause me yeah. problems. Technically, sympathy tokens are bad too, but they're not as bad as mobs are. <laughs> well, I I feel less inclined to go after the sympathy tokens, especially since it'll still in part general. Your hand. <laughs> well, that too, but also just I don't feel as they don't feel as hostile to me. <laughs> They can be, but I have to build up quite a bit before they become hostile toward you. Yeah. Okay, I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll spend a card to place a mob in this mouse clearing. Okay. And it's just any, any mouse card really, that I have right? Yeah, any any mouse or, uh, or bird card, because birds are wild. Uh, and where does the spend go? Oh, just this card. card. Yeah. This card over there? Okay. Yep. Cool. There you go. And then, um, and then oppress clearings you rule that have hundreds pieces and no enemy pieces. You have two right now, so you get one victory point. Yay. 
And then draw one card. Uh, that's in this here, right here. Uh, yeah, yeah, discard. Yeah, draw pile. Yep. Oh. So, <laughs> Sorry, not, I just saw... One thing I'm not noticing is there's nothing on your table that allows you to draw more cards. Like, no. everybody has a thing that makes them draw more. Does, does hundreds just not get that? It doesn't seem so, no. Shit, you probably have a mood that lets you draw more or something. Uh, yeah, draw one more card in the evening, rowdy. Yeah, that allows me to. I was gonna say because having only drawing one card every turn is kind of shit. Yeah, <laughs> it, it kind of is. <laughs> All right, well if that's your turn, then it's D Pain's turn. Where do you see how many cards I control? Or is that? You, you can draw one evening. Oh, one at the okay, evening. okay, yeah. Now I see. I was like. Does that happen? Okay, so I'm gonna slip. I'm okay, so I'm guessing the ruins are in the clearings. Yes. Okay, so for free I can move wherever I want. So I'm gonna yeah, so at the beginning of the Vagabond's turn, he gets a slip action that lets him move from any clearing to another clearing or yes. from any into an adjacent forest or out of a forest into an adjacent clearing without expending any of his boots or anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna slip you know, I was just explaining it tonight. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna slip over here. Hello, cat folk. Um, Hello. And then, let's see. So it's my daylight action. Uh, not going to move, not going <clears> to <throat> battle, but I am going to use my torch to explore the ruins. So you, unlike everybody else, your daylight actions aren't ordered. You can do any of these in any order uh, okay. and then go to evening when you're done. Uh, well, I can. right now the only thing I can do is explore the ruins. So the... when you explore the ruins, you're going to... Switch it to state two, and it'll reveal what item it is. Oh, it's a satchel. Lucky you. <laughs> and then put it in your satchel spot. Which means now you can hold... More items. Um, remove items in satchel down to six plus two per bag. So you can now hold eight items. Eight items. That is right. All right, let me see. We could aid, but I don't... I think Knight has any items, so... So aiding, aiding without getting an item back isn't always a bad thing. If your goal is to become allied with somebody, it could be pretty good. Um, so you have a weird benefit. That's a little difficult to explain, but... Um, if you aid Knight, then you're going to move him up here, and you're going to gain a victory point. Yeah. Oh, wait, I get a victory you... point for exploring the dungeon. Oh, do you? Yeah, you do. Cool. Or the ruins, um, yeah. So if you were to aid Knight, you would move him up to this, and you would gain one victory point. Then on a different turn, if you were to aid him twice in one turn, you move him up to here and gain two victory points. And then on a different turn, if you aid him three times in one turn, you move him to allied, and you get two more victory points. And then, from then on, every time you aid him, you get two victory points. Mm -hmm. And if you ever go into combat with somebody that's not him, yes. in a tile that has his warriors in it, you can... Add his yeah. warrior to your total attack, and he you can make his warriors take hits for you. Yeah. And every time you move, you can bring his warriors with you on the move. Mm. It's, it's pretty much fighting usually, anime. <laughs> usually, so if you do it right, if, or if you're playing the Vagabond right, and you're like allied with the cat, you can kind of use it to both of your advantage, but typically what ends up happening is you'll use it a little bit too much, and then the cat will get mad and attack you so that they switch to hostile so they can't, so you can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think some... Uh, I do want to... If I am inclined to... If, I am inclined to work with you at this point in time. If you want some that aid... Said, if he does get into a fight, it like say you have three warriors in a clearing and he's there and you both attack the Lord of the Hundreds and he gets another fight and Lord of the Hundred deals three mo three attacks at him. He can make one of your cats take a hit and two of his items take hits and that's fine. But if he makes two or three of your cats take hits and less of his items take hits, that immediately switches you to hostile. If he ever makes your army take more hits than he takes, it forces you to hostile with him. Well, here, Knight, just let me know. Is this something that would interest you? Ooh, I do like that. All right. <laughs> I will move the cat up to this. And I get point. into two points. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I, I mean, with all of these uh, red things around the board, oh. I mean. 
Um, when you aid, you do have to expend. One, uh, you do have to exhaust one of your items. It doesn't matter what item, but any item has to be exhausted to do an aid action. Oh, okay. Well, I'll. Right, it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, I, I missed that roll. All right, well, that's all I can really do. So, okay. with that, you move evening. evening, draw a card. Draw a card. Draw a card. And you don't have to discard items or any of that shit, so you're good. Uh, yep. And that is my turn. Did you, did you give Knight a card? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. I was just seeing that you had three cards, and I was like, that's weird, but I forgot you'd played it yeah, much earlier. Yeah, I, I gave Knight a, a card. So, so if Knight I wanted to has, aid you, like... You, you can do it to one of my sympathy tokens. Okay, so, okay, so I have to go to sympathy token. Okay, okay. You can, you can do it to any token or building or unit I have on the board. Um, so, that said, uh, whether we're allies or not, you stepping into a clearing that has a sympathy token on it will trigger outrage. Okay. It's just how they work. Um, so, Knight has a really cool function, uh, field hospitals, that is... Oh, right, I probably should have brought that up when, during that last fight. Oh, well, you only lost one dude. Um, so anytime any amount of cat tokens are, or cat warriors are removed from the battle, he can discard a card that matches the clearing they were lost in to move all of those tokens to his keep instead of losing them. So losing one, to one dude, eh, but if you like lose three dudes in a fight, discard a card to move them all to your keep instead, that's really good. How do I craft? Uh, let's see. What does this outrage do? So the outrage is basically uh, if you walk a warrior into a into my sympathy tile or attack the sympathy token, then you have to give me a card that matches that token's clearing. And if you don't have one, you have to show me your hand, and then I draw a card to to instead. So in this um, in that spot where you have the sympathy token, I could build uh, something there. Oh yeah, that you can still trigger, build there, right? Yeah, it's just going to trigger okay. outrage if you move a warrior into the token or if you attack the token. If I so since I can, I have the recruiters. If I put a recruiter there and recruit a warrior there, does that also trigger it? No, they're not moving in. They're being created there. <laughs> okay, that, I was trying to make sure I understood oh, I the semantics. It. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, so you start your turn by placing one wood at each sawmill. <laughs> So we're just going to go, blap. Yep. There you go. You got one wood at your sawmill. All right. And then so... <clears throat> Let's see. So you currently own every clearing except these two. So you have a easy line. It's not hard to do line of uh, uh, paths. But, like, usually if you, if you had a wood here and you wanted to build here, you have to be like, well, I own this one, this one, this one, and this one, so I can bring the wood there. Like, there has to be a path to the place where you're building from the wood. Um, let's see. I'm thinking that it's probably generally best to start by building sawmills the first couple of turns. It's not a bad idea, um, but when you've got Lord of the Hundreds, it, having a recruiter is also not a... So when you take the recruit action, it puts a warrior at every recruiting booth. So if you have six recruiting booths, one action, you get six warriors. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just thinking about trying to get the economy started. No, I get you. Um, and I can't do the other path that I was thinking about doing to Hang on, I need to double check the rule. I mean, you economy. Keep looking and this rule doesn't matter right now. I just want to double check. Um, let's see. I wonder, would it make sense to go there? I guess the the first thing I should do is to well, let's see craft use and workshops. I don't think I can do that. No. Um, okay, so these actions. Well, I, was I wrong. think. Um, so you earn, earn a victory point every time you kill a building or a token. Tokens do count too. Okay, so I think I probably want to go ahead and use the battle on this on the uh, so for, mob yeah, you, first. Yeah, uh, so just so there. you guys know, Formality. he also has an interesting daylight in that he has a list of five actions that he can take up to three times, and he can discard bird tokens to take additional actions. And he doesn't have to take them in order either. He can <laughs> spread them out however. 
Okay, so I'm attacking this mob. This mob... Go away. No mobs oh, in my my town. You didn't roll. Uh, <laughs> I did roll. <laughs> they oh, just... Okay. I, I just did a... Uh, there, there yeah, you I, I, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> the formality. So you get um, one, victory to one victory point for killing a token. Ow. Uh, there we go. Um, and then I think... Let's see. I think what I probably want to do here is go ahead and go for... Global could. domination. <laughs> yeah. That's his goal. I could go with a... Maybe it makes sense to start with a recruiter down here. Uh, just to get some economy going here. Or get some uh, unit economy. And then for third action, go ahead and recruit. So one there, one there. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, okay. I see what you did. So you did a fight, a build, and a recruit. Yep. Cool. And uh, when you built that building, it revealed a one victory point, so you gained a victory point from that. Oh, you already did that. Cool. Yeah, I think I did. Because I killed one build. Yeah. And then you uh, also, uh, just so you're aware, uh, if you didn't notice before, your third yeah, and fifth I saw... recruiters are where your draw tokens are. So you're going to want them. Are those the only ones that have the yeah, draws? Those the Is those? Okay, yep. so I do want to work those relatively quick. All right, that's me done. All right, cool. Um, so my turn. I am going to... Let's see, how many warriors do you have? Okay, cool. Uh... Alright, I'm going to discard a mouse to put a sympathy token in this mouse clearing. And then I am going to gain a victory point for doing that. And then I am going to discard this fox to put a sympathy token in this fox clearing i really wish you wouldn't and i'm going to gain a victory point for doing that although actually no that that's fine that i i don't mind that actually and then i am going to um craft this card i have in hand because i have two sympathy tokens and fox clearings i'm going to craft um arms trader which will give me two victory points and also craft a sword that I have now for if somebody wants to steal or trade it from me. Mm -hmm. Trade for D pain, steal for anime hero. You know, Abby. Um, I still don't understand how you craft things. <laughs> <laughs> so for everybody else, they have to have buildings and clearings. So for me, my sympathy tokens are counted as uh, crafting buildings. So to craft this thing that had two foxes, I had to have a sympathy token in two different fox clearings. But mm -hmm. for you... It's all based on hammers. So you could craft something that has one one mouse by being in a mouse clearing and using one hammer. If you wanted to craft something that had two foxes, you would have to be in a fox clearing and have two hammers. Okay. Um, and then, I can't do that, I can't do that, I can't do that. <laughs> Alright, then I draw one card. And... That's my turn. All right, done. I told you I start off like I'm playing play, like I'm playing the disease in a plague game, just spreading my. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, it's my turn. Uh. Uh. I'm just getting the call out there that hey, we're done with these fucking rats and cats, guys. <laughs> Stand up against them. <laughs> Now, when you have your sympathy things out, is that, like, considered a, um, like, you ruling that, or is that, no. no. Okay, so only that's, uh, how do you know if someone rules something? So the ruling is you count warriors and buildings, but not tokens, in a clearing. 
And whoever has the most owns that clearing. Okay. And uh, you don't count because you can't own clearing. Yeah. So right now, cats own every clearing except the two that the rats own. <laughs> I am just trying to provide for the people of the woodlands <laughs> as best I can. Yeah, provide more warriors. I saw what you did. I am trying to protect the... Uh, I am... You know, I am a good mousing cat. I am trying to protect was, from the rats. If it was a base <laughs> style game that had an Irie <laughs> dynasty in it, that would sound like bullshit. But considering that we're going up against Lord of Hundreds, it does actually <laughs> sound plausible. Exactly. I don't see. I am not. Uh, I'm not being causing any problems to the people. I am simply trying to protect us from the rats. How you doing over here? Sorry, anime. <laughs> yeah, no. Just, I'm just reading. All I'm hearing from right. uh, the left. Love your mob. Hmm? Lob your mob. Uh, lob my mob? Oh, yeah. You got a mob lobber. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you have no enemy buildings or tokens at mobs, so you don't have to worry. Can't do that. But you get to spread to a fox clearing from either of the two. From either. Um, however, neither of them is touching a fox clearing, so it doesn't spread. Oh, well, this the... is the fox. He's only got one. Oh, right. He only has one. So, yeah, it would spread back to that fox there. It can only go to this one. Yeah, no, there is one you can spread to. It's oh, the there's... one that you lost one from. This one. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> Boom. The mobs will continue to spread. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll yeah. try. So, uh, recruit goes next, but I my guy was dead. So, and then, so then I anoint, but I don't recruit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he would have been dead. Yeah, you uh, no, I, I do still team. get one warrior. Wait, one warrior at each stronghold, so I get one. Oh, that's good. Yep. Hang on. I should have had one last turn, shouldn't I? Yeah, as well. here, take another one because that's. Yeah. I didn't, I it didn't wouldn't notice have, that last time. Yeah, it wouldn't have changed how I moved. My... It wouldn't have changed anything, but you should have one more dude. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, but regardless, okay. So those are my guys. I have that. Is this map supposed Net to look like the map from? <laughs> so um, oh, I can see it. So you gained one dude at the stronghold, and you anointed that same dude. Yeah, and anointed that guy. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, because I was about to say, uh, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he would have been anointed. Changed my mood from uh, whatever I had it grandiose okay. to back to stubborn. Uh, okay. and so then I hit daylight. Yeah. Yep, daylight craft if you want to. You only have one stronghold. It's in a bunny, bunny. clearing. So I can craft this one. I believe. I'll be right back, guys. Yeah, I was gonna say for a boot. And after that, we are command the hundreds. Uh, up to my command, so I can move them to uh, do two or build. So I'm going to in a matching clearing. You will. I'm going to be moving. I don't need to move them because my warlord's there. I think I'll move you over here. Do it. I'm going to do it. <gasps> Coming for you, Pain. Ooh, no. Um, helicopter, yeah. helicopter. <laughs> You're not allowed to leave like that every time, I swear. Do I need to come over there? Uh, mm, trying to think of what I want to do here. Because, like, if I move that guy there, I can move him back and then just... Hmm. The 
crunch cheese. You're welcome. <laughs> I was like, thought process was being crunched. Uh, spend a card to place a stronghold in a matching clearing you rule. So if I'm here, I have control of that. So is it to have to have a mouse card or is it just in general? To spend a card. That's what I'm confused about. Hi, Corb. What's up? Okay. I'm looking. I'm looking at build specifically. Spend a card in a strong uh, to place a stronghold in a so matching. It would match the yeah, clearing. So you, for that one, you'd have to use a mouse card. Oh, okay. Or I just want to make sure. Mouse or bird. Or bird. Yeah. Birds are it. birds are wild. Yeah. So I, if I use this bird here, I can place a stronghold there. Oh, jeez. Not like that. So now I have a stronghold in that place, yeah, and then. Nice. Uh, and then I was going to move my. The next thing is move my warlord and my mice and immediately battle. And I'm moving. Oh, I don't want to move here or there. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sorry. I'm just. Well, you're still, right. still it's deciding on. Kind of game where the first few turns, especially as a new faction or a new player, take a while. Yeah, th this faction is like, I go like, oh, it's aggressive, aggression. It's like, oh my god, this is a lot more than I thought I was getting into. Oh yeah, it's aggressive as fuck. Yeah, like I was like, I was expecting burning things down, but not at this rate. Um... <laughs> so what did you, you, how did you command the hundreds? So the command the hundreds, oh, I, built. I, I built here and I'm allowed to do two because I have the boot. The mechanics have all your money now. Where yeah, you I have the boot. Uh, crafted, the boot was, it. crafted it. So nice. basically, the boot is I craft it, but I don't get the points for it. So you moved one dude. Only well, one. at least everything's done. Uh, I moved one dude, and then I built. Weird. Okay. Yeah, and then I was going to commit. Now I was you're going on your to advance the warlord. I don't think you want to do that. That doesn't seem like a good idea. <laughs> ah! Yeah. <laughs> you're right. I'll go over here. I'll... You're right. I'll go over here instead. <laughs> Let's go. Let's attack. Uh, you know, I I wasn't trying to bait that at all, so I'm ambushing oh there. My god. Oh my god! <laughs> really? How many wow. ambushes do you have, man? Wow. Okay, fine. <laughs> so that means you lose both of them. Uh, no, I ignore the first hit. Uh, if it, it's it counts, not a combat hit. It's not in battle. Okay, well then, no, I lose both, okay, and on. then it's over. Yeah, <laughs> then my turn's over with that. Uh, yeah, that's not in battle. That's kind of bull. Wait, <laughs> do we ambushes immediately? Oh, okay. I'm not. Hang on, I want to find out. Maybe yeah, we'll no, because that just that just feels so annoying. <laughs> okay, knight, stack the deck in your favor. Mm -hmm. I got it. I did not stack the deck at all. Uh, ambush. Mm -hmm. I don't know how oh. that got there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh yes, it does, uh, that does stop the first hit from the ambush, but then okay, you won't more hits after that. Yeah, no, because I was gonna say that should be a battle because he's. Tr I'm trying to attack him. Yeah, because it's at the start. You walked. Of battle. It's not. Before you walked into an ambush. Yeah, not my fault. You walked into an ambush. It's not my fault. I have to fight everything. Yes, it is. You chose that. <laughs> you chose that class. <laughs> no. Yeah. And I, yeah, no, I have to, like, it's, it's just my, it's my nature. Anyways, yeah, uh, where's my... <laughs> is it nature or is it nurture? You put them way over here. I over your boot mood for you. <laughs> Frick, you threw them way over here. I didn't throw them at all. Where, where, where are they? Yeah, over here. You threw them yeah. way over here on the first combat yeah, the, in the corner of the board. Jeez, why do they look orange to me? <laughs> they look no, orange they, to they look us, orange. too. Hey, where yeah, are they, you, right? They were I have brown right? ones. Oh, you do have brown ones, huh? That looks so weird. Sorry, they were redder than that. That's why I was confused when you were pointing them out. Yoink. <laughs> Three and one, so you each deal one hit to each other. Yep, and it's destroyed both. There we go. <gasps> real estate! <laughs> <laughs> so real now estate. that... You can build anything. I know. <laughs> now that's uncontrolled, right? Yeah, that's uncontrolled. Yeah. Uh, Insight... But oh, decor, I'm that. glad that your car's back. Everything is good. Woo! And honestly, like the way 
tabletop sim has been treating us today, uh, yeah. it's probably for the best that we didn't play. Right. It's been pretty <laughs> It's rough. been very goofy. Uh, yeah, so I gain one point for the oppression. And... Root's going oh. well. Yeah. Half of us are learning it, and yeah. the other... The half of the other half is learning how to play a new class, and I yeah. think Salty's still waking up. <laughs> I'm waking up, and I haven't played the game in like two years. So. Yeah. Okay. Recent. I'm done. Pretty much, um, I think the count is up to like 500 times that me and Anime haven't been able to connect to each other. <laughs> it's only 184. Uh, well, I have another 33 after the 189. You got your oppress and your draw? Yeah, I got my oppress and my draw. I got one point right. and then draw. Yep. Main. My turn? Okay. So, I know this might be... Might be, um... Wait, okay, hold up. First things first, I get to refresh. Let's do that. Boom, shaboom. Okay. And then I'm gonna just slide over here. Outrage. Now... The reason why is that, uh, this is salty. If I would like to offer a trade to you, I know. I'm sorry. I don't look. It's not that I hate you or anything. It's that you know, <laughs> outrage just happens. I don't know what an outrage you actually don't means. Have to deal with. If you have, means you have card, to give him a card. If you have a card that matches, that matches. The so a fox or a bird card, then you have to give it to me. If not, then you have to show me your hand. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know what outrage meant. Then I probably would have done something different. <laughs> well, you can do something different. That's fine. I'd probably move yeah. up to here. Outrage. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> Everywhere. All right. Well. I guess he's not going to trade with me for that sword, then. I would like to trade with you, but it would ruin plans. I might come by later. <laughs> I... Because I just hand him one over kind of ruins stuff that uh, I'm hoping to do. Right, I get you. So, okay, first things first, let's let's uh, let's go see what's in that ruin. 